Hi everyone, my name is Catherine Zollers, current chair of the New Practitioner Network, or NPN for short, and we decided to capitalize on this moment of the annual convention being celebrated in Springfield for the first time ever by having fellow NPN members describe their why, why they joined IPHA and why they're a continued member in the hopes of non-members at this organization can be inspired to join our wonderful IPHA as well and to have students continue being a part of IPHA well into their future. So without further ado, let's start the show. I am a member of the Illinois Pharmacists Association because I feel it's important to be actively engaged in our profession. I recognize that practicing as a pharmacist is an action verb and I want to be in the driver's seat. I am a member of IPHA because I want to be part of an organization that fights to protect and advance my profession. It's great that I get to be a part of the new practitioner network and all the network activities that come with that, but it's really not about what I get out of it. It's really about a genuine love of pharmacy and the hope of getting to see the medication expert get ex get the recognition that we deserve um, by getting provider status. Hi everyone, coming to you from my office here at Roosevelt University College of Pharmacy. Wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about the importance of joining and staying an active member of IPHA. There's my heart from last year's convention at annual conference when I gave my president's speech. So, and I'm very lucky, I'm the seventh woman since 1880 to serve as president of the Illinois Pharmacists Association. So I got started with IPHA back in 2011. My mentor asked me to join and be part of the board of directors. I didn't want to let her down, so I said yes enthusiastically, and I've moved my way from regional director to vice president to president-elect, and now this is wrapping up my year as president. IPHA has given me so much more than I feel I have given to them. I understand how advocacy and legislation works that can affect our practice of pharmacy. We want to gain provider status. Last year with House Bill, or I'm sorry, with Senate Bill 465, we passed PBM legislation that helps everybody with uh, reimbursement issues that we're having right now. I've been part of multiple committees. I make sure that IPHA is moving along, not only on a legislative impact, but also with pharmacy practice. We want to increase our scope of practice clinically, but like I said, we also want to address remuneration issues that we are having in our, in our practice. Um, I always hope anyone has any questions about IPHA membership to please ask me. I think sometimes there's some hesitancy to question um, the importance of pharmacy associations, but if you give me a few minutes, I'm sure I can convince you that it's the right thing to do. Also, back in 2011, I was sitting next to a pharmacist at an IPHA luncheon, and I ended up working for him about two months later. So there's always networking opportunities. Really, there's so much more that you can get from IPHA that can give back to you. Please find me at conference if you wanna catch up. So excited that you're here and fire up for pharmacy. Hi everyone, it's me again. I would be amiss if I didn't tell my story. It all started with my first rotation ever at pharmacy school with my preceptor, Steve Piper of Brighton Pharmacy. I expressed my interest to him about independent pharmacies and potential ownership in my future, that he gave me advice on joining certain uh, organizations, including IPHA, which after that I became a member of during my schooling and I had the opportunity to present a business plan on behalf of my school in the business plan competition that IPHA provides. And from there I met my future boss, Byron Berry of Pharmacy Plus, where he gave me a chance and gave me a job and I worked for him for three wonderful years where I gained enough knowledge and confidence to pursue my own business with my brother and from then on it's been full circle so it's been wonderful and i just want to thank ipha because if it wasn't for ipha i wouldn't be in the career that i am in now and i encourage everybody to join because you will never know if you're going to meet your future boss at your convention hi my name is uh, luis solano and i am a recent graduate from rosin franklin university uh, in north chicago illinois um, i have been in I'm fortunate to be a member of IPHA for the last four years, and now a new practitioner uh, that's joined, as an, uh, joined IPHA for the upcoming fifth year. 
Um, over the years, I've been able to foster new bonds with fellow students. I have was recognized for my hard work uh, during my third year as I received the Allen Granite Memorial Scholarship. And as well, I continue today uh, joining and uh, going to my fifth conference where I hope to uh, encourage new members to apply and to join and get those same benefits that I did throughout Fountain School. So join today at IPHA.org.